Hello, it's Angel. I'm back. I'm going to be doing a video about time. I just wanted to show you what my morning looks like. This is the very beginning of two snowstorms that we have. There's this one today that's supposed to end, I guess, around later this afternoon evening and then there's gonna be another one that's going to start around 6 a.m. in the morning so we'll see what happens anywhere from four to eight inches is what we've heard so we'll see all right here I am it's about time I thought this morning on this snowy day that I would make a video and I've done a lot of research and been planning this out for a while now. So I've got a lot of information to tell you all about time. I want to start out with the history and the lore of time and later I'm going to get into nutritional aspects of time, health benefits, uses for time, and even some tips on how to grow time. So I've got a bunch of notes and I'm going to be checking them, probably more reading from them because I haven't memorized any of this. And so what I'm going to start off with, like I said, is the time history and lore. So time has long been associated with strength and courage. In ancient Greece, it was the highest compliment that you could give to someone to tell them that they smell of time. It has long been used as a calming agent and has been recommended that you stuff your crying pillows with time to help you calm. It has been used as offering for fairies and divas. It has uh, really a lot of fairy connections with time. They say that if you cover your eyelids with time that it will help you to see the fairies and it's also recommended that you grow a patch of time that you never harvest from and that is specifically for fairies. Kind of like a little fairy house, like a bird house, you know, to attract the fairies to your yard. The thyme is part of the thymus family. It has originated from the Mediterranean area. And they say that where the, that the thyme that grows in its native lands is the most flavorful of all the thyme. And uh, the honey from the pollen made of thyme is said to be the best honey that there is. As a matter of fact, beekeepers would even rub their hives down with thyme to help attract bees to their hives. Uh, wild thyme is a native to Europe and North Africa and are used as an aphrodisiac in those parts. The oldest report of thyme being used was in uh, Ebers Papyrus from ancient Egypt back in 1550 BCE where it was used medicinally. Thyme was used in ancient Egypt as part of their embalming practices and it was also said that thyme was in the manger that baby Jesus laid in and that is why thyme has such a wonderful aroma. As a matter of fact, Luke 2, 7 is, says, Time grew prolifically in the Holy Lands. Because of its abundance, it was used as food for the animals and was therefore in the manger where Jesus was laid. Medieval women across Europe would embroider scarves that had a bee hovering over a twig of thyme and they would present that scarf to their favorite knight um, as a token of bravery. A writing in the 11th century said this, uh, the smoke of time drives away all serpents and all other beasts that cast venom out through their mouths. 
it is said that you could write uh, names of perspective, perspective loves on pieces of paper and put them under different pots of time. And the pot of time that grew the largest and the most prolific would be, uh, the name under that would be your one true love. So time has very rich history, especially when it comes to fairies. All right, now to get into some of the nutritional and medicinal um, benefits of thyme. So this one I'm gonna be kind of focusing on the paper a little more probably. But thyme has thymol, an acetic compound. Thymol is a powerful antiseptic. Thyme is good for relieving the symptoms of bronchitis indigestion, diarrhea, tonsillitis, arthritis, fungal infections, and depression, which may be why they said it was good to put in crying pillows to help with the depression and the calming sense of it. Time may also help relieve many digestive complaints, including heartburn and gas. It possibly lessens spasms of the intestines. Thyme may be used for helping with bad breath and halitosis because its compounds are active against some bacteria that live in the mouth. So making a mouthwash out of thyme is, is good. Thyme can help treat things from acne to high blood pressure. Two tablespoons of thyme is five calories. It gives you 10% of your vitamin C, 5% of your iron, 3% of your manganese, and 3% of copper for your daily vitamins. Thymol is the primary volatile oil constructed of thyme named after the herb itself. It has been found to protect and increase the percentage of healthy fats found in cell membranes and in other cell structures. Maximum benefits of time occurred when the food was introduced in an early life cycle, being less effective when introduced in the later stages of the aging process. So feed your kids a lot of time, get them hooked on time early, help get them those benefits throughout their whole life. Thyme is an antioxidant and an antimicrobial. It is also an antifungal. Thyme has long been used in history for food preservation. However, recently, studies have found that not only is it effective in preventing food from contamination, it is also beneficial in decontaminating food that were previously infected with bacteria. Use in fresh salads as a way to um, ensure that your produce will be uh, safe to eat. So that's a really good idea. Just throw a little thyme in your salads. It'll add flavor and it'll help make sure that there's no bad bacteria in your produce. That's an awesome tip. Thyme can be used as an appetite stimulant. Uh, further studies are being conducted on the effect of thyme against colon and breast cancer. These were very intriguing studies. Um, current results show thyme as having a protective effect for colon cancer. So people that consume a lot of thyme are less likely to get colon cancer. And in breast cancer patients, it has been um, seen that the time induces cell death in breast cancer. That is so amazing. So throw time and everything. Out. Let me be sure to say, please, if this intrigues you at all, do your own research. Go out and find 
more information about it, study it, learn as much as you can about this. You know, there are, um, make sure it's something right for you before you start it. Start it out small if you're going to start it out. Make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction to time. You want to be smart about this. But also, I found so much more information than this. I just limited myself to one page front and back per topic of time because this video is already going to be really long. Okay, now going to get into some of the uses of time. Uh, these are just a few, just some things I wrote down. There is limitless ways that you can use time. And I just hope that this information inspires you to grow your own time if you are not growing it already. And if you are growing it already, maybe plant a couple more plants this year. Um, so, getting into the uses. It is used in seasoning of clam and fish chowders, sauces, croquettes, creamed chipped beef, not even really sure what that is, creamed chicken and seafood dishes, used thyme butter over creamed white onions, braised celery, asparagus, green beans, and even eggplant. Thyme pairs great with tomatoes. Create um, You can create amazing herb blends with thyme. Some of the recommended herbs to mix with the thyme are sage, marjoram, bay leaf, and parsley. You can create more savory dishes by adding thyme to soups, stews, casseroles, meatloaf, stuffings, marinades, and pâtés. To, uh, if you use Time, you can add to the layers of flavors to, veg to vegetables like eggplant, zucchini, marrow, and lima beans. Lemon thyme has a milder flavor than the creeping thyme and is an excellent way to improve foods that have a very delicate or bland flavor, kind of like steamed carrots or omelets. You can make infused vinegars and oil oils out of thyme. Uh, you can make an herbal butter with thyme. And recently I made a lemon thyme salt with thyme. You can use thyme for culinary purposes. You can use thyme in teas. You can use thyme in essential oils. You can... Uh, use time uh, to help repel garden pests anywhere from you know bugs and insects to small rodents you can use time as an aromatic in your home you can use uh, time medicinally one way that you can use it medicinally is to make tinctures out of it it is also wonderful in beverages with and without alcohol you can use thyme in a uh, white mixed with white vinegar to uh, on insect bites, or even as a spray to repel insects. You can use thyme with white vinegar as a natural underarm deodorant. Essential oils from thyme and thymol hold many fungicidal properties. So you can use that thyme vinegar if you have a small amount of mold in your house. It may help with uh, getting rid of the mold because of its antifungal properties. So those are some, just a few really wonderful uses to use thyme with. Okay, so now you've learned about the history and the lore of time. You've learned of the nutritional and the medicinal uh, if benefits of time. You've learned about different ways you can use time. And hopefully you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I really want to grow some time. Or maybe I should grow some more time. So if you 
already have time and you want to grow some more time, it's really easy to divide that plant. You can take some of the roots off of the, the plant by the roots and replant that. It'll be another plant. It'll grow separately and it'll grow quicker than if you were to start it from seed. You can propagate it where you take a cutting from it that does not have roots and stick it in some water or growth hormones and it'll grow roots and grow from there. You can start it from seeds. Now when if you're starting it from seeds you want to be sure to put the seeds on top of the dirt very shallowly. Maybe sprinkle a little bit of dirt on top of them. They're very small seeds so you don't want to bury them too deep. Now when you're planting your thyme, be sure to find a place that is a dry soil in a sunny location. They liked well-drained soil in a sunny location. Other than that, thyme is a no fuss, no muss plant. So you just plant it and forget about it. It's a perennial, it'll come back. Time is one of the last things to turn brown in my garden. So I'm able to harvest fresh thyme out of my garden well into the winter months. And when it comes back the next year, it doubles, triples in size and gets much bigger. Now there are 350 to 400 different subspecies of plants, of uh, types of thyme. So there's all different kinds and you can find the one that best fits you and grow that one or you can try and grow as many of the different times as you want. Some of the varieties of thyme grow tall and upright and some of the varieties grow close to the ground making them an excellent ground cover. Now some of these grow, low growing species are very hardy and like lemon caraway or golden thyme are extremely durable and they can even withstand foot traffic. So these are a type of plant that you could grow in the walkways of your garden. I wouldn't necessarily recommend harvesting from the plants that you've walked on, but if it grows out into corners where you don't walk, you could definitely harvest from there. Great way to make your garden beautiful. Every time you step on it, it'll smell, it'll be wonderful. That would be a wonderful use of time just to have it in the walkways. So now you have all this information about time. I hope you found it beneficial. I hope it inspires someone somewhere to grow time. If you liked this video and would like to see more, I do plan on making more videos about specific plants in this kind of format. So please subscribe. If you hit the bell, it will notify you whenever I make a video so you can be one of the first ones to watch. And if you enjoyed this content, found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that this is something that you would like to see more of. And I'm also on Facebook and Instagram if that's a thing that you like. You feel free to come and follow me there. Also, I would like to say thank you all so much for watching the video. I really appreciate everything. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season. I love your guts. Thanks. Bye-bye.